for anybody watching. <laughs> Kimi, one of the best Pac-Man players to do it right now in Smash Ultimate. SA, a very, very strong regional Roy. Lingling, Ling, you know him as the peach that you hit, you get touched by once and you explode. DM also playing a lot of Aegis lately and doing very, very well with the yeah. character. Playing three characters, essentially. Playing yeah. Pika, Aegis, and, and Steve. Steve. Three very good characters. Oh, yeah. well, three great doubles characters, too, so you don't even know which one they're going to go. Aegis, too, a good character. You know, Mithra can be a, such a good disruptor that all-encompassing Nair. She can literally just dash Nair and do really well. Yeah, Pyra say, also. Some say the best character in the game. I believe it. Maybe. I don't know. She, her results are fantastic. Really. I, I was talking about Steve, but... <laughs> 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 All right, the Ling. It's going to be weird to see the dynamic between both Kiwi and uh, SA. Just because, like, I, I know they've teamed before. Also, I love that the E with the accent is not read right into the title. <laughs> so it's S-E. <laughs> S-E. <laughs> S-A. Devin giving up. Devin. He, he, there, there was an attempt. Devin colonizing the scoreboard right now. <laughs> 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 right, oh, but really? yeah, this is looking kind of rough for blue team already with DM losing the first stock. The weakest part of Aegis is their recovery. Just how linear it is, how slow they can be in the air. They don't really have a lot of quick options. They have yeah. more of a... a they, they have one of those... They have kind of a Dolphin Slash-esque upbeat, but it's not good in this situation because there's no hitboxes really on the top of it. Yeah. So if you're above them, you're going to be cooking the Aegis every single time. So it's really up to uh, Ling Ling to try and get in there and try and disrupt whenever DM is caught off stage. Because on stage, DM is going to be a monster. Off stage, DM is going to be a sitting duck, especially the characters like, like Pac-Man, who can go off stage, have projectiles that can catch you in pretty much any arc or situation you're stuck in. It's going to be a tough cut. Yeah, and it's up to Link to just, like, remove the focus from DM offstage and just provide interruption. And Peach isn't the fastest character, no. so it's going to be fairly hard. And running into Pac-Man, already a bad matchup right there because you can't jump as much as you want to. Already getting caught. You saw Link getting caught by that bell, losing the stock, and another stock gone. SA getting that kill off with their back air right there. It just seems like DM and Ling aren't playing like with each other right now. Like they're taking these separate one v ones, but yeah. I feel like they should be playing a bit closer together to bail themselves out of these bad situations. Because both Mithra and Peach have great advantage, but Kiwi and Kiwi and SA are just able to live a lot more. They're hitting each other a lot less. Kiwi's really doing a good job of conserving her projectiles as well to points where she know where she knows she's not going to be hitting her teammate instead of hitting the opponent. Yeah, and, and again, yeah, you said it before. They're not playing with each other. They're, yeah. they're not being teammates. That's right. Teams is called teams for a reason. That giant F smash could be waxing Ling Ling off the side of the stage at 73%. Kiwi still living with this last stock. If they can get it off her, it yeah. be looking a little bit more salvageable for the blue team right now. But right now it's not looking good with SA taking front guard. Yeah, and as we say that, they're also not that far behind. So it's just like a bit of cleanup right here. Oh, Mystic dropping that combo, that's and that's a big one. That is huge, yeah. Because if hit back, DM could have converted off of it even further and gotten some very solid damage off right there. But yeah. instead, he's going to choke it. And now both SA and Kiwi able to keep DM off the stage. I feel like T DM has just been getting edge guarded into oblivion. Yeah, like all through stocks. Except Whoa! Sniper! <laughs> That's not the sniper sound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got we to teach how you play some Call of Duty later. <laughs> of course, that... The, the, the yeah, Roy side B not finishing it off. Surprisingly, I thought that was it, but I think it reduced knockback and less damage. The team's probably going to make things a little bit more difficult for Roy to kill the side B. How yeah. did that hit both of them, bro? Pac-Man's a dumb character. <laughs> I know it was the arc of the bell that did that, but it looked yeah. really silly. All right, Kiwi, she's going to go high. Kiwi in the position where every Pac-Man player loves to be in, just holding that bell over the ledge. Lingling is making them look foolish right now, true. though. True. Hazmat, take notes. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, I feel like uh, I, I don't like that decision right there. I feel like, I feel like Kiwi could have just F smashed right through SA yeah. and got, got the job done. Try to figure okay. something out, but Roy not skipping arm day, getting that last kill off the top right there. No, Roy has not skipped arm day once. <laughs> <laughs> he's swinging that sword so much, bro. He's, he's like he's spotting Ike. He's got to be ripped. He's, yeah, he's spotting Ike. He's like, yo, I, I got your back. <laughs> Yeah, Kiwi trying to F-Smash right there to convert off of it, but just getting the pummel. Ling Ling not getting out of there. Yeah, it's just really hard to mash out of that, to yeah, be honest. At that percentage, too, it's tough. Yeah. Because um, also, I think Peach gets the jump mash out, and if 
Kiwi is positioned well enough. It depends where you get grabbed. It's true. If you get I don't think that grab release would have killed it, but he, uh, I Well, digress. grab release wouldn't have killed it, but if you got the jump one, it, it matters. But we, we don't know for sure right now. Either way, though, I feel like DM and Ling just need to play a little bit more with each other. I feel like, you know, DM needs to stop getting edge guarded like crazy and needs to start playing a little bit closer to Ling Ling. Because once, once Aegis is off stage, they are pretty much helpless. You know, if, they, if, 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 Ki if they're low and out, Kiwi can just run off there. And that's a stock off right there. All right. But getting back into it. Also, is this top four or top six? This is top six. Top this six. So best of three. Yeah, winner of this, I believe, plays the winner of the other match we saw earlier. So yeah, SA, and, SA and Kiwi needing one more win to take this one right here. Like yep. a DM not up 1 0 right now. Yeah. And the big thing here is DM holding stocks. That's essentially yeah. it. I think if DM is able to not get edge guarded at such early percent, it will, will swing their favor. Like any opening they give, like for the red team to just wail on DM, it's gonna be so much worse because again, Peach doesn't have that ground speed. We know how good Ling is on hit, but if Ling can't connect that hit, it's gonna be tough. Oh, trying to end stocks early from SA. And, and in this situation, you don't really have to be afraid of Pyra, just because Blazing Edge is also a commitment. Uh, Pyra is so slow, she has to carry that giant sword around. Yeah, and we're seeing, okay, able to close the stock right there, but we're seeing Ling play a lot more aggressive now, yep. and he's not playing, being the defensive player, and that leaving that to DM. Wow, these, that, those Blazing Edges were really good to get the stage control finally for the blue team. Finally, blue team is up. They're finally living. This is going to be a big F smash right there. A little bit of a whiff from DM right there. And Ling knocking on Death Stores. Well, still, what a conversion right there at the Peach Bomber. That was so good. All right, able to juke him out. All right, the SA waiting so patiently right there for Ling to overcommit, getting that sweet spot up there. And this is this is go time for the red team at this point to really start wailing on DM before Ling Ling can really get back. But Ling Ling's back in the cut. Ling Ling does right. not miss those. No, does not. Certified sniper. He doesn't miss. The certified SD. Except in that moment, apparently. I don't know what happened there. But it thought they had a lot of tools, did use their double jump off stage and use float and just thought they had more resources. So just really unfortunate for Ling. And could just actually cost them the set potentially. And I like now that DM has finally found his footing a little bit more. He's been keeping Kiwi out, you know, not letting SA get bailed out of these really scary situations. Just letting the up smash rip right there. Not going to kill it, though. That was nuts. Good grab. I, lo I love oh. everything DM just did there. Good grab on Kiwi, knowing that there was no danger of him getting hit by the bell in that situation. And uh, also just really good use of the grab armor right there to break through. Like you're yeah. using your throw to avoid getting punished is super, super important. Yeah, and this is on SA living now. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough. Roy getting hit one more time. He's not the heaviest character in the roster. Yeah, and super edge guard ball as we saw yeah. earlier. But he does hit super hard. Ooh, this is dangerous and close. So shield poke, really good awareness from Ling right there to punish that. I get that was SA's only option right there, given that how small his shield was. But Ling Ling knew exactly what the situation was and capitalized on it perfectly. Now it's going to be how how do we just close this space against Kiwi? Because once you got Pac-Man pinned down, there's not really a lot he can do to get out of the situation. Yeah, no, I totally agree. <laughs> the melon is stronger than the turnip. It's mightier than the turnip. Better fruit. More people like melons. <laughs> <laughs> Four to five dentists recommend. <laughs> oh my god. Using, yeah. Really good by Ling Ling. I, I love that too. The anti Pac Man tech taking the trampoline away. Yep. Ling knows this. Ling has been around the block. Does go to Zeno. Able to play Sinji. But yeah. Does the same logo as Kiwi. So tons of matchup experience. You take away the pellet from Pac-Man. If you, if you hit the pellet while Pac-Man is trying to recover into it, that's where Pac-Man stops. And Ling Ling just is taking it. Kiwi only had the option of trying to take that trampoline one more time to make it back to stage. And Ling Ling just cleaning it up. That was yeah. masterful. That was so good. Pretty big rain. I agree. Oh, OK. Yeah. I saw it happen yeah. there. Double jump, float Unlucky. low. I wonder if he's just tap jump. Uh, I think switch to tap jump, yeah. But so they, wanted, they wanted that double jump. Yeah, Ling yeah, wanted that double jump right there. Just overextended and then, like, forgot. It's yep, literally yep. a brain fart. It's true. 
So game three, now coming up with these two teams right here. I think SA just couldn't get started. You know, we saw SA playing off Kiwi really, really well. That game, it looked like a complete role reversal. DM started playing a whole lot better with just keeping Kiwi out, letting Lingling Ling do what Lingling Ling does best. And uh, they're not hitting each other. They're not getting clustered up on each other, but they're, they're still able to help each other. All right, yeah, not true combo. Can't hit Mithra like that. <laughs> nuh <-uh. laughs> Think again. She's so cheeky. So sassy, dude. Psych. <laughs> wow. Oh DM right now with the Attack. space control. Just letting the boomstick rip. Big brain gameplay coming right here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes your zero IQ can be an 100 IQ play. Tell yourself that. <laughs> but I mean, that that hitbox but is big. It's active. DM is doing it from a very no. safe range. That was perfect. And I know, do agree. Those S smashes. Those are good. They're, they're scary. Those are, those are scary S smashes. And they, they're powerful, too. Mithra could kill mad early with those S smashes. Okay, but being a fast, slight fast, we're able to live off the top right there. And SA trying to find their way out of this bind right here. Luckily, Kiwi coming in to save the day. Get the Pyramithra chance. I don't think I've ever heard those from anyone before <laughs> in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Still, though, SA and Kiwi looking not terrible. It, it's, it's just tough because I feel like DM and Ling have finally found their groove in terms of space control. They're not overextending. They're kind of just doing their aerials in place on landing. Well, you know, SA's whole shebang as, as, as Roy is get in, do damage. But when you can't get in and your opponent's constantly just doing defensive aerials, you kind of have to wait for your teammate to open up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, just went a bit higher than what they thought. But oh, my gosh. This teamwork from DM Bling. Doug losing the right there. It, it has been oh, outstanding overall. Oh, no. And couldn't punish that. You saw the jab clank yeah. with the up smash right there. SA going to be fighting himself down. I feel like just SA can't get anything started. And likewise, Kiwi is getting sniped out in the air at a moment's notice. I don't know if FD was the counter pick. I know it's good for Pac. But when you have a whole teammate to worry about, you really can't play the, the game the way you want to play it. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be huge. Okay, that should be a stock. No, Ling with the DI of Legends right now. Just surviving now. That was so good. All right, is that going to be stock? Yes, it is, Kiwi. Taking that another stock, and if they can get this stock from Link pretty soon without taking too much percent, they do have a chance. It's true, and I think one thing aiding that is the fact that SA keeps pulling back. As soon as SA is not able to milk out any more damage, he just does fast fall fade back to the stage. And because once Roy lands, he's able to shield pretty quickly. He's able to act defensive pretty quickly. The fact that SA is not biting off more than he can chew is helping Red Team stay in this game right now. Yeah, but these spray projectiles are now just not working for him. Oh my. That orange went through hell to get there, but big fair on Lingling right there. If they can just take D off, DM off right now, this is looking so much better for the red team. SA just needs to live. Kiwi will probably live. Oh, this is huge. Kiwi goes for the throw. No, the dare doesn't hit. Oh, that's so unfortunate. All right, this is huge. Yeah, getting the Pyramithor Classic right there. And I, I don't know how this is going to go. DM doesn't really have to overcommit right here. Link can pull turnips and play frontline. One yeah. person is easy for Pac-Man to deal with. With two people, you can't really play your zoning game. Yeah, it gets a bit tougher. Oh my gosh. All right, doing the shortened pellet, I like that idea a lot, just so Link can, you know, disconnect Kiwi from that situation. Oh my god, oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I do like the idea, though, of just going high, the bouncing off. Really smart. So DM, Ling, making it to guarantee top five, top four. I feel like there was a glimmer of hope right there for both SA and Kiwi in that moment. Yeah. But SA just got caught out and it didn't really pan out for them, unfortunately. But DM and Ling looking really solid. Looking very, very solid with controlling space, taking space. Look at you, baby. I love Ajax. Man. 